so you look so pretty <laughs> all right so we are currently planning our trip to Kauai so on uh, Black Friday we woke up and Alaska Airlines sent us a, a travel deal and we found that round trip to Kauai was 200 bucks so I threw my flyer miles on it and I got my flight for free which is my favorite price so I'm going to give you guys all the tips for how we're doing budget through Turo our most expensive item so far has been the rental car which came out to like 690 bucks but the rest of it we're gonna be backpacking and camping and it's gonna be a great time Our trip started with a very early flight, so we opted to get coffee and breakfast for $20. And with my Alaska Airlines card, I got my check bag for free. Woo! Made it to Hawaii! Our first stop was to treat ourselves to lunch at Duke's. Fancy meal when you arrive in Hawaii is top priority. Next, we hit up Poipu Beach to lounge in the sun and play in the ocean. One of the best things about Kauai is there's always free fun to be had on the beach. After soaking up sunshine, we hunted down supplies for the next few days and finally tracked down camp fuel in Princeville before hitting up camp. The great thing about this camp is you can rent yurts or little cabins, but to save money we just opted for a tent site at only 40 bucks a night and right on the beach. The next morning we set out very early for an adventure through paradise. Alright, so on our way to the trailhead and we stopped for coffee, gas station coffee and breakfast, 9.30. $9.30. I love those birds. <laughs> Made it to our beach! Oh <laughs> Made it! Made it! Let's go set up camp. I am ready to eat! Yeah. I'm so hungry! <laughs> After spending that day backpacking up the most beautiful trail we've ever set foot on, we got into our backpacking food and the wine I picked up in Princeville. We spent that afternoon and the next day lounging in hammocks, doing yoga on the beach at sunrise, and exploring the incredible Kalalau Valley on this backpackers only beach. Very exclusive if you're ready to rough it for a couple of days. The following day we backpacked out and made it to our hotel, which was $600 and included a bottle of wine. The grounds themselves were great and right on the beach, but the rooms were pretty basic. The next day was all about exploring Kauai and doing the touristy stuff. Stay within our food budget, that day's lunch was local food stands and grocery store snacks. We also saved money by spending some time on the beach, which is always fun. And if you're wondering if we treated ourselves, we definitely did. That night we met up with friends, had a big fancy dinner, and got away from the box wine. For our final day on Kauai, we opted to rent SUPS to paddle up the beautiful Hanalei River into the Wildlife Refuge. Hey! So the Hanalei SUP experience is freaking rad! These views are amazing! We saw so many birds!
check that out. Oh my gosh. Yep. And for you guys that don't want to sup, the kayak's pretty rad too. Yep, and only 45 bucks a piece and you can get it for all day. So it's like pretty sweet deal on that. Um, and then bonus tip, if you come at one o'clock and you're only gonna have it out until 5.30 for about four hours, it's only 30 bucks. So you get a little discount if you only wanna do half a day. So it's pretty freaking amazing out here, you guys. Uh, supping and kayaking through the jungle. Doesn't get much better than that. Woo! The biggest costs we ran into ended up being our rental car and our food, which averaged out to about 114 a day for a total trip cost of $2,672. Not too bad if you ask me for six days in paradise. So let me know in the comments when you plan on visiting Kauai. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next wandering.